right, Aries, welcome in. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your reading for August 2022. How you doing? Hope everything is going well. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Whoopsie. Don't do that. I just did a little video. I have a Learn Tarot YouTube channel, too. I'll stick a link in the description box if you want to go over and check it out. And I just did a little short about how to, how to shuffle, and I'm, like, completely fumbling this. Okay. No. <laughs> the activated ally for you. All right, let's see. The activated ally. This came out for Capricorn. There are no wrong turns. And the galactic grandmother. I love that card. It makes, it does make me think, I, I saw a bunch of comments this week uh, that came up in the water sign reading last week. Um, and it was really about protection. I think that a lot of people had that comment, which made me uh, feel good because if that's how you're seeing that card, when I first saw it as a spider, I kind of wondered about that. But if spider is your spirit animal, that that's a big deal. Um, there is like protection here. There's watching over, right? If you're going to go down a new road right now, uh, we are in Leo time, which is another fire sign, and that can be activating to you. All right, so let's see what's going on for Aries. In the extended, I'll pull cards on any zodiac signs that do show up, okay? Seven of Wands, just to give you some extra clarity. Oh, there's the King of Wands. There you are. Seven of Wands, King of Wands, the Gemini card, and the Knight of Cups. So uh, you might be dealing with a Gemini. This person could be from your past. Um, you could have, uh, you know, blocked them or resisted uh, an advance that they made. Something like that. Nine of Wands. There you are, the Emperor. All right. And the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful energy here, Aries. I love this. Chariot, Cancerian showing up. Eight of Swords and the Hanged Man. King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. All right, I'm taking these two. Three of Pentacles in the world. So um, the new way to do what you need to do is about collaboration. I feel like in the past you might have um, resisted that, okay? Resisted um, having a partner or having somebody in your life as a relationship partner. But this, is, this could be um, a, a little bit about creating partnership to build financial stability. Ace of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Um, I'm seeing that you have recently had, I don't know, had a rough time, but like had, it's been difficult. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie to you here. I feel like there's some baggage going on here and a little bit of it can be about um, thinking mindset because we have the eight of swords here. It can be a lack mentality. It can be like a, you know, I don't deserve this or, you know, how am I supposed to um, make this work for myself? And there can be a feeling of like, I have to do everything myself. Okay. Um, when you get out of this mindset, when you see things differently, hanged man, uh, that's, that's a, um, that's a card of perspective. It's a card of surrender. And it's like, okay, I might have been resisting partnership in the past. Mostly because, I mean, I think there was some good boundaries here. It's it's not like everybody you meet you need to go into business with or anything like that. But there is somebody um, around you. No, I'm not going to use that deck yet. Um, <laughs> there is somebody around you. Oh, I see. Here it is. Who is uh, capable. And um, I feel like there's a, a, a fear of making a mistake. And that's why this nothing's moving forward because you're taking on too much on yourself. Let me clarify the nine of wands. Four of wands, nine of pentacles, five of cups, tower. Okay, page of cups and the page of swords. So when you had a lot of self-confidence, um, I think you rejected some... Uh, collaborations or some uh, or some love interest. And I think you regret that. I think you might regret turning somebody down, sending somebody away. I think you might feel like 
you know, uh, you were kind of um, a little bit too big for your boots there for a little bit. And now you're starting over. This new kind of thing is showing up and you might reach out. Page of Cups, Page of Swords, Death, Sun. Yeah. So no longer, um, I'm not saying that there's arrogance here or anything like that. I'm just saying that you felt like it was going fine. Like there was nothing for you to really do. And um, people kept coming to you or something like that to do partnerships with you. I think actually they're going to help you more than you think. They're definitely going to help you more than you think. And this is going to come along in Leo time period or the choice, the transformation, because Tower is like right now, right? Um, a little bit of apology, a little bit of reaching out. Hey, I'm sorry uh, that this that we never were able to get together before. What do you think about talking again? Uh, I think that's a, um, a conversation that is going to come out of the blue. I feel like if you're kind of twisted around right now, trying to move forward, but it seems like it's hung up. You can achieve what you want to achieve. The only thing is you might not be able to do it alone. And that can for an Aries can be like, what are you talking about? Of course I can do it alone. But this is OK. So that's the lesson to be learned that. There's something more powerful in doing something in doing a thing with another person rather than going at your own on your own. Clarify the activated ally. And I feel like this is a message from your galactic grandmother. Activated ally. Page of Wands. Inspiration. Queen of Cups. From the heart. The moon um, is an illusion. And the magician. Um, let's manifest something together. I, I do feel like this person might be a water sign. Pisces could be a Pisces. I like the Gemini energy here too. Um, Pisces is the two fish and Gemini is the twins. So this can be about a twin flame mission that you're having uh, activated. Okay, it's activating over the next eight days. Like right now, I think I can do it on my own. It's like you need another person, but mwah, I think the word need is, is a little too strong. It's like you get inspiration and you gain a lot uh, by going down that road. I think in the past you might have felt that uh, it wasn't necessary or why muddy the waters or, oh, I've had a lot of bad partnerships in the past. Now, I understand that, but I, I think this you're needing some new um, energy, some new life. Now, if this is about a love connection, Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and Queen of Pentacles, I think that this has to do with you might be learning something new from this person. OK, lots of conversations, lots of good um, communication. Um, be careful about being too dominating or about telling somebody else what to do. I think this other person might be a little less powerful in terms of their energy, how they show up in relationship. They may show up as someone who's more heart centered. Uh, and I don't mean you're not heart centered. I just mean like it's more, it shows up as their, as who they are. So they might not be, you might not think if this is a business connection, you might not think that this is the right person, but I do feel that they have much to teach you. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles. When you integrate what they're teaching, uh, lots can be um, accomplished. Lots can be accomplished. I like that. So you might, if you feel like you have not been able to move the needle on your own, this is coming within the next eight days. And I think it is going to be a massive shift for you. Um, a big change in how you are experiencing this kind of uh, c connection. I really like the fact that you're showing up in your own reading. OK, that says to me that you are in your energy. I feel like in a high vibration. The only thing I'm not sure of here is why the Ace of Swords showed up to begin with. Seven of Pentacles waiting. Three of Wands waiting. Knight of Wands wanting to move forward quickly. Two of Wands not wanting to do something too rash. And so you've just been waiting. The energy of waiting is pretty loud here. And that's, you know, um, in a, now that we're in Leo time, uh, you might feel like, okay, 
it's time to do something. It's time to get moving. And that, that would be a really good thing. Look for the helpers, as Mr. Rogers used to say. Look for the helpers. Look for or attract in. Just say, okay, I'm ready for this energy in my life. Uh, please uh, show me who this is or what, what can be achieved. Please bring them to me. I think you need to ask for them to show up. All right. So that's a manifesting, uh, not challenge, but manifesting assignment for you is ask for the person who is going to be helping you manifest the next level of your life. Yep. King and Queen of Pentacles here. I like it a lot. So I'm seeing quite a bit here. I'm seeing uh, Pisces. I see Gemini. Pisces, Gemini, Cancer. Scorpio. So all the water signs. Leo is here. Okay. All right. So I'll look at all those. Leo. I do see Sag here. So Leo and Sag, other fire signs, all the water signs, plus um, Gemini. All right. Link is below if you want to continue on. If this is your reading, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.